Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. Happy Friday everybody, hope you had a great week and that you're looking forward to your weekend. First we have to take care of one challenge and this time we are taken to the planet of Takodana. Now if you're looking to start a business in the galaxy, Takodana would actually be a great option due to its neutrality and the distance from the galactic politics. Now this actually made Takodana a haven for fugitive smugglers and explorers and the planet was also known for the Takodana castle which served as an open port to spies and dubious travels alike. So definitely a great great place for any new startup business so you don't have to worry about all that bureaucracy and red tape and everything. You can just go in and get your business going. Speaking of going, let's go into our challenge for today. As always I'll cover the modifiers, feats, the mods and the teams and this one I'll be showing you two battles. Uh, so first one will be with a full first order squad without using Supreme Leader Kaloran. Now if you do have Supreme Leader Kaloran, by all means go ahead and use him. It'll make this a lot easier. If you don't, this can still be done as long as you do have Hux because Hux will stop order turn meter again for the resistance. And then the second battle will be doing the undersides with Darth Revan. Okay, so let's look at the modifiers first. So the global modifier uh, for Takodana, Safe Haven, what this essentially will do, whichever unit deals damage first will get a permanent death mark on them. More about it later, just something to bear in mind. Then the modifier here for the enemy, the key thing that we will get here is permanent advantage on our Hux due to this modifier. And why this is important, because while Hux has advantage, enemy won't be able to gain bonus turn meter which leads into the enemy modifier, which again does uh, quite a few things, but most importantly it would grant them bonus turn meter. However, we will totally negate that uh, because of Hux unique. So essentially our modifier totally cancels out the enemy modifier, which will make this challenge quite easy to complete, even though you don't have Supreme the color and no issues whatsoever. For the feeds themselves, again, nothing too tricky here. You obviously have to complete the battle, uh, do the undersized squad, and that's why for the undersized I've chosen Darth Revan. And then complete after attacking uh, out of turn 20 times. Not an issue here because Hux keeps calling everybody to assist. Uh, then also we've got some chance to counterattack uh, with, uh, with Kylo Ren and Musk, as well as First Order Stormtrooper and Stormtrooper himself. He can call as well somebody to an assist. So plenty attacks out of turn there. You don't need to worry about that. And of course, we will be completing with a full team or first order units. So for the full first order team feat, I'll be using this composition. You could probably use Hux lead as well if you want. Uh, I just prefer color and mask lead for this one just because you get plus 30 speed on top of other things. So if you do not have a lot of speed on your guys, you should still be able to outrun the enemy. And that is important. Um, mod wise, you know, my Kalo there, he's got some speed on him, some health protection, and things like that. And then up next, uh, Hux here. So having a Drelic 5, modded for speed, a 291. And then First Order Stormtrooper as well, you know, modded for health, protection, defense, and things like that. And then First Order Officer again, just have some speed on him, 268 will be more than enough. Now why first order officer? Because his spinning shot uh, will be reducing cooldowns on your first order allies and this will allow your Hux to just keep going back to back between his two special abilities because if you would use basic attack with Hux you would crit and then you would not get advantage from the enemy modifier. So by Hux never attacking he never loses advantage he keeps gaining it back through, through the modifier that you get for the event. That's why here there's a nice interaction here between First Order Officer and then as well Hux and as well his marching orders can give offense up to Executioner so you can just go ahead and take somebody out. And then finally my First Order Executioner again no crazy mods needed for this one. Just got some critical damage, a little bit of speed on him and things like that. You could probably go with Sift Trooper as well. I just like First Order Executioner because his special attack here can remove turn meter uh, as well as buffs, so I do prefer that uh, for this particular one. Plus, as well, every time he creates, he'll be feeding uh, some turn meter to your team as well. Right, so this is the team. Now let's hop into the battle and let me show you how this one goes. Before we go in, just please take a note uh, here of the order of my units. 
uh, because for my testing with this order that I have here, first order officer will always gain death mark because you do not want that either your color and must or first order stormtrooper uh, get death mark applied on them uh, because in that case they might get taken out, especially first order stormtrooper gets it. So ensuring that none of your tanks get a death mark will then allow whoever gets that mark to survive because from my testing enemy just mo most likely will go after your tanks and first order officer never got hit even though he had that mark on him so just something to bear in mind that the order here of the units uh, may be important before you go in for my testing i've done this multiple times in this order first order officer got that mark every time and he never really got taken out so this is the order you, you probably should use before you go in. Okay, so let's just start off with a mass assist here from Hux. And be while Hux has advantage, you know, they won't be able to gain bonus turn meter. Let's now feed over, turn over to Executioner, push back center meter on Ray, then let's get a stun on Finn, get a taunt up. There we go, keep going after Ray. We'll take her out first. Here, let's cleanse off Kylo uh, as well as reset his cooldowns, stun R2 so he doesn't put everybody in stealth now here let's just go pinning shot on hero finn all right he was he didn't remove any turn meter from him unfortunately anyway ray there she's got foresight that's why i'm kind of going after finn there with the big hits another mass assist here on ray another turn here for executioner here let's target finn again because i want to make sure that uh, i keep the taunt on my kylo Again, let's now cleanse Kylo again, stun, there we go, Finn again. And there you go, because we keep uh, reducing cooldowns there with the uh, first order officer, Hux never gets to do anything apart from his um, special attacks, so then he keeps regaining advantage, which means he can keep uh, resetting cooldowns and as well prevent uh, bonus turn meter again from the enemy. There we go, okay, yep, yeah. there we go. Pass turn again over to color and mask there let's see who can we stun this time let's stun Poe I'm trying not to style or stun Ray because she probably can cleanse it from herself anyways there we go almost got Finn out of it not quite okay let's target Ray again because of all the dodging and evasion you know it'll take some time but there we go Ray's out okay here we go so this time R2 did use smoke screen, but with Ray out, we don't really worry too much about it. It's just a case now of finishing off these guys. And that should be it here. There we go. Remove every stealth from everybody with hugs. Go after Poe here. Get a taunt up. So we go. Even though first officer, he's got death mark on him. <laughs> he never really uh, gets hit, so that's not an issue at all. Okay. And now pretty much you can just hit autoplay and wait for the battle to finish. There you go. Very straightforward here, even without Supreme with a color ran. Obviously, if you do have him, by all means, do use him. He will make this even easier. But I mean, if you don't, just because, you know, hugs there, uh, you can still make this work uh, with the rest of the guys. There we go. Keep going. These guys are quite tanky, though. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Only down to R2. And this will complete three out of four feats uh, for today's challenge. So the obviously completing the battle and then as well with a full first order score. And as you can see, we got a lot of attacks out of turns. So that wasn't an issue at all, which leaves that only one more feat to get the red box. And that is undersized squad. Again, with the undersized, you've got plenty of options. I'm pretty sure um, the ones I actually then decided to use was Darth Revan. It just seemed... The easiest and most straightforward to do. Now for the Darth Revan squad I'm just using the trio and then plus Sith Empire Trooper. Uh, the way I've done it was that I actually remodded my Malak to be the fastest so he can go deal damage first and then he will get death mark applied on him and this is what you want because obviously Malak just you know shrugs off the extra damage from death mark and then as well, every time they critically hit him, they get feared. So this will slow them down. And yes, Ray will apply healing immunity on him. But because of all his bonus turns, he will click quickly be able to take a couple of turns. And then you will lose that healing immunity and he will be able to heal back up. So this is the speed on my Malak for his battle. 
uh, Basti there. She's got some speed on her as well. And then up next, Tar Frevan as well. You know, good speed, but Malak here. Ideally, make him the fastest. A Sith Empire Trooper doesn't really matter. He's there just for the pre taunt. And that's it, really. All right, let's hop into the battle now. And uh, let me just quickly show you how this one goes. First things first, yeah, Malak should go first here. And that gets death mark on him. Now Ray there, she did put healing immunity on him, but we got a bonus turn already. Let's go ahead there and uh, stun Finn. Okay, keep going after Ray. More fear. All right, now Ray here, she will be gaining a bonus turn meter. No point to do the drain. We still have healing immunity. Uh, on Malak, so I'm just saving it, alright, so we do not have healing immunity anymore on Malak, so we can now go ahead and use it, take Finn out, so we stop their counter attacks and things like that. As you can see, this is perfect, Malak's got death mark on him, so they are forced to go after him, so it's pretty, pretty good with kind of making use of the modifier to work for us instead of against us, okay. Alright, well Ray is feared, so okay, let's go ahead, get her out, and uh, this is pretty much over. So you can see here with Darth Revan, very quick, very easy here to complete the undersized feat. Again, there are probably many teams that can do this. Darth Revan was just the first one, it came to my mind uh, and it worked really well. So there we go, this is my run, and we got Max Crate yet again. So for another quite easy uh, galactic challenge yet again. And uh, this is what we like. It is a little bit of a challenge, but you know, not nothing too crazy like an RNG fest where you have to go in and keep trying and keep trying. Alright guys, I hope you find this video useful and helpful, showing you how I here completed uh, all the feats in today's challenge uh, using First Order Squad without Supreme Leader Kaloran and as well Darth Revan there for the undersized fit. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one, but until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.